Hi, Rocio. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Hey, hey, hey. More loud, please. More loud. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited to be here. It's my first English talk and my first time in Brazil. It's uh, my first participation in a PostgreSQL community bank. I'm really excited. I enjoy this event. I'm, I'm really, really excited and happy to be here with all of you. I met uh, uh, many people uh, around the world. I, I really, I really feel good. I, I, I meet a hero for me, Project Real hero for me. It's really, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you, thank you so much for, for Picon Brazil for, for the opportunity, right? Uh, my name is Alfredo Rodriguez. I'm from Mexico. I'm a PostgreSQL architect in Wolves. Wolves is a Postgres enterprise. Um, from Mexico, we we like Postgres uh, provides enterprise support in Mexico and Latin America. Okay, I'm 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 really enthusiastic uh, about open source and I'm lover of PostgreSQL community. And you can call me Draco because I have a heavy metal band. <laughs> I love heavy metal. I love beer and I love Postgres too. <laughs> And if you want to call me Alfredo or Draco, it's, it's, it's great for me, right? So, um, oh, sorry. This is how to understand, explain, we are dying in the team, right? So I want to introduce my partner in this lecture. He's Waldnik, a DBA like me. Maybe it's smarter than me because he doesn't test your update without words in production. Maybe it's... Uh, it's smarter than me because of that. <laughs> he will share uh, some awesome tricks and hacks in this lecture. And um, okay, let's start. Probably is such an experience um, that of all of us have lived, right? Uh, normally, like database administrator, we only hear database is slow. Mm. Maybe you guys make a similar face to mind when you hear that because it's. it's mm. Because it's not enough information, okay, to know why database is slow, right? So, okay, let's start by uh, finding what could be causes of the database is slow, right? It could be the hardware is insufficient, mm. however, in most cases or not. Probably we always think that a quick solution is, is if, you, if we will use more resources, uh, everything is solved. And, I, I think it's not like that, right? In my opinion, everything starts from the design, right? Every time you take your time to analyze and design your solution, everything, your database, diagram, relation, entity, relationships, entity, entity diagrams, your all architecture, uh, sizing your hardware, everything. Take your time, take all your time to this, right? <sighs> but in my opinion, um, pretty design queries could it could it to the perception of a slow database, right? Just one query could stock or crash your server. Just one query, right? So <clears throat> I think we need to focus on find a slow query, right? <laughs> because just one query <laughs> crash your server. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just one way. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I think we need focus on finding a slow queries. <laughs> so uh, finally, we found the slow queries or pretty design queries. Is this phrase familiar to you? Yeah. yeah. However, have you ever heard about any developer, your customer, your boss, or maybe you, especially your Scrum master in daily? No. Okay, fix it. Okay, just say and fix it, right? The problem is for me. Okay, we can use explain to analyze a slow query or, or, or any query, right? We, we use explain sentence in PostgreSQL to try analyze a query. But do you remember your, your first interaction, your first time that run uh, explain sentence? Do, do you remember if you raise your hand if you, if you do? Okay, you you remember. Okay, you remember. It. I remember that I I didn't I didn't know how to read explain output really. I just executed because this is the phrase. I don't know what to explain, but I will run it. 
What can be wrong? Hmm, what can be wrong? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like this, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe like me, the first time that you execute, explain it's what's a complex query, right? <laughs> it's a most common situation because we, <laughs> when you need to analyze a query, it's because it's a complex one. Generally, we don't try, we don't try to improve an easier, fast query. It's a really slow query and, and, and complex query, and this is explained for. This. So I remember that, I remember DBA died trying to understand explain. I did, or literally, uh, this, this cat descri described my face. Because when, when I was trying to interpret and understand explain, I, I didn't understand anything, really. I didn't understand anything. But, well made to the rescue, okay. Keep the calm, everything, keep the calm. Well, we need to understand some concepts before trying to interpret ex explain output, right? The first, uh, the first one, we will develop some PostgreSQL basis to try to understand. And after that, we will define, explain, and explain analyze, okay? When we, when we get this definition, we will develop two group of concepts. They are scan methods and join methods, okay? And we will develop each one to explain it. So keep calm, we will try step by step understand better like out explain out oh before to continue i like to invite you to know this tool okay everybody can execute the examples in this lecture uh with wordpress db uh, schema created by i to db as to db is open source tool to perform a stress test and create this database we can configure the size of the uh, of database and perform not just insert the tool can execute delete updates and simulate queries to simulate a production database, right? It's open source, you can check more information in this link, download and please report issues, please, please. So, uh, we continue, okay? Firstly, we need to develop basic concept, right? If we understand them, we will get the race. I'm pretty sure about that. So, what is the data? It's a storage and a scan it. In pages, right? The pages are the smallest part in PostgreSQL to know and to understand. Peter Gogan uh, called them as cells. It's a great analogy for me because as, as, as I was saying, the pages are the smallest part in all the environment around PostgreSQL. Like cells in our biolog biological systems, right? So this structure uh, weighs no more than eight kilobytes, and inside this all data is a storage and modify. So, with this, what does relation storage look like? It looks like this, right? right? It's important to remember that a relation in PostgreSQL is a table or index. A relation, you, you, you remember that, right? Inside this, we will have many pages where data is a storage and modify every time. So each modification like update or delete will generate, will generate a new version of tuples. So the old versions could be erasing and treat with vacuum. So maybe this is a general overview, okay? If we keep in mind this image, we will get better the principal scan methods and other order slides. Right? And then, so take a snapshot in your mind because we will use in the next slide. So um, what's explained? Okay, uh, the explain is the SQL center that will show us the plan created by query planner or query optimizer, right? Right. This plan is a structure in a plan tree. In the plan, in the explain output, we can view all table, scan methods, and join methods, and etc. All, all, all in, in, in this plant. We can see with this sentence, okay? Um, definitely, the analyze is the most interesting parameter uh, in explain. Maybe buffer too, but uh, if you are a beginner in this, in, in this topic, the best way is to start just on only with analyze, right? Uh, with this parameter, we will slide more, more information like actual time, real world loops, okay? Uh, we will describe this better in the in the in the following slides and all this information is shown because when we run ex explain analyze the original query will execute until it finishes let's all remember the original query will be executed if you run update 
in production, we don't work. Okay, you, you remember that we, maybe you will have a really, really disaster because the original query will be executed. The data, the data is, ex is updated with explain and light. Don't try improve update with a word on delete with a word in production with explain and light. Please, watch out and be careful. So um, now I'll go to read explain out. Okay, the first thing is the plan is by the nodes. The complete plan is an invert tree, okay? Which means that the first node is inside of the tree and the last node is out of it, okay? So we need to read from inside out. This is a simple example like, like here, right? Drawers show the sequence of a node's execution. First this, 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 inside out. Okay, the node receives a row set parameters and result with a new row set, or in this case, it's another sort node, receives scan, scan rows, sort rows, and results are sort rows, okay? This example says it's a little bit more difficult, but we can see the sequence execution to each node, okay, and how it is connected with the following node. So, you remember that, invert tree, what do you mean that? We read inside out. The first note is inside the plane, and the last note is out. That's it, right? Infantry, infantry, read, out, out. Really, really easy. Oh, as we can see, we have information for each note. We will describe this. Okay, if only we execute explain only explain, we'll see this information. The first one is operation. Could be um, scan method, join method, uh, sort, something like that, right? The second one is cost. We have two, two numbers separated with two points. It's the first one is estimated startup cost. The second one is uh, total cost estimate. Right. We will uh, we will define better uh, the, the cost concept in the next slide. Okay, we have rows estimated number of rows output in this node. These nodes came from stats. Okay, and finally we have width. Okay, the width is uh, output in bytes. That's it. Okay, and if we execute explain with analyze like this, explain analyze, we will see the previous concept like this, um, plus, plus this, okay? We have actual time, are in milliseconds of the real time, as if it's name defined, the actual time will take to execute the entire query. Okay, real rows. Okay, are the real tuple lives in pages in this example? In this example, it's notable. We have notable mismatch between them. You, as, as we can see, it's a huge difference between them, right? What do you mean that? This means we need to update the table stats in this query, maybe in this node. We need to update the table stats because we have these rows and versus these rows, what can be wrong? Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, you remember, then analyze, execute the original query. Because of that is the difference. Stats have a mismatch between the real table, right? So finally we have tuples, okay, uh, tuples, no, loops, sorry, sorry. It's necessary to repeat some, some notes until the end. The loops specify how many cycles we will run it, okay? And this case is three times, just three times. And in my point of view, the most confusing concept is cost. However, I think uh, Josh Berkus makes a good definition about of it, right? And we focus just in three key phrases. Arbitrary cost unit, double theory, and problem practice. The abstraction of this concept with these two phrases we understand better, right? The concept definition, the cost definition, right? So therefore, to reinforce the concept, we have to remember the cost is arbitrary. 
The cost is arbitrary measure. Another important thing is that the cost is just a reference in a same query. We can compare cost between different queries because not, okay? If we want, um, if we want to improve a query, the cost could help us when the lower is than the another version, always, always the same query. It's just a reference. It just arbitrary reference in the same query, right? So, are you okay? Everything okay? That's done. Okay, okay, yes. No. I, I, I think no. <laughs> okay, we will describe scan methods, right? And the first one is sequential scan. This is operations show in, in, in the notes, in the explain notes, right? Um, this, is, this method scans the complete table or add almost of it. What's mean? If the query needs to scan more than 80%, 90% of table PostgreSQL, we'll run a, a sequential scan like this, okay? It will be execute page by page scanning data to fetch them. Page by page. You remember the, the, the you remember the you know overview relation it's all right okay this is this part. Okay, page by page, data by data, page by page to try get and fetch data. So we have two examples here. Okay, in the first example is required. In this case, it's requiring a, a, a scan the entire table. And the second one, most of the table will be scanned. Right? So uh, the, next, uh, the next method is index scan. Right? In the index scan, it sees a copy of data. Okay? You remember the relation concept, the relation is the same. The, the structure is the same. The table and index. Okay, you remember pages relation. Okay, in the index here exists a copy of data. First, the the data is searched in the index pages here, right? Once it's found, the final data fetch from the table pages. Okay, we understand. The data is searched here and fetch from here. Okay, the search method depends on the count index. Okay, this example is a bit the default index in PostgreSQL. Okay, there there are more more type of indexes, but in this case it's just a bit index. We have two examples too. In this case, um, the first one we have a filter. This is a primary key. Okay, it's easy to understand if the customer data is searched in the index because the primary key was indexed when the table is created, okay? The same thing happens if we create an index on a specific column, okay? But um, uh, after data was found in the index pages, the data is fetched from the table pages. In the second example, is the, the same behavior, the same process, but with a filter, okay? And we can see. So uh, we have index on a scan. It's a similar process that, uh, that the, the previous, but the difference, the previous one, is that it skips the last process. What, what's mean that? Okay, it means that the data is fetched directly from the index page. The data get directly from here, not here. How do we provoke this behavior? We only specify in select area the data is stored in the index. Like here. As we can see in the example, we specify in select area just here, okay, just the customer ID. The data is a storage in the index page. This is this is the primary key. And this this column was was indexed. Okay, because of that, the data get directly from the index pages. So well, we have uh, the last method is bitmap index scan. This method is the middle one between sequential scan and index scan. First, PostgreSQL will scan the indexes with a filter and compile the rows and entries in a bitmap, maybe like this. 
Okay. The bitmap contains the filter rows related with the block entries identified by a hash key, 0 or 1, like here. Okay. When we have two bitmaps, this and this, okay, between them, we will perform an ant operation, like this. Finally, the result of it, okay, is the new row set scan it. Maybe it's a complex concept, but it's just an introduction to try to understand better, right? This link, this link has a detailed and great explanation about the feet that you, you can visit and try to understand better this, 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 this is scan method, right? Uh, we have two examples too. Uh, in the first example, we have two filters on the same index. Okay, in this case, the R operation uh, provokes the bitmap, uh, bitmap scan map. The second one, we have two different indexes. Okay, we different uh, on first name and last name. And uh, when filtered this, we will perform okay, a bitmap index scan. So uh, we are just about finished. It. So far, so good. Okay, okay. Now I will describe join methods to try to finish. The, the, the first one is the simplest join method. I will try to explain that this as simplest. For this method, we have two results that both came from, okay, both came from the respective scan methods, okay. In this example, the category is the outer table, in, the, in this case, outer table, and the product is the inner table. So for each row in outer table, we'll be compared for each row the outer table against the inner table rows to generate a row in result, okay? This row compare one by one until it finishes with all rows in the inner table, okay? When the process end, the next row in this case, okay, um, starts the same process to the old table to try compare between them, right? Like a nest love, eh? <laughs> Because of that is the, the name. We have join hash join. It's method is more complex than the last one, but we will try to understand the, the DSCS form. Okay, PostgreSQL decides the smallest table to create a hash a hash table because it should fit in memory, right? In this case, the smallest table is category. The other table runs, okay, oh, before so, so a hash table will be created with the values combined in hash, like here, okay? Then the other table, this, okay, runs a sequential scan and probes the hash, okay, for each row okay, from the search matching keys, like here, right? Maybe it's a complex to understand, but this is a, a introduction, a nice introduction to try to understand this, this. And finally, we have a merge join. It's the same process and the same functionality that this loop, but in this case, the two result sets sort before performing compare. Because of that, it's more fast than this loop. We have before, all, uh, sort before to performing compare. Finally, where learn more, these links and, and talks are helpful to go deep in, in this topic. The first link explains some basis of it. Okay, it's uh, the first article I, I read about explained. Okay, uh, in the PG Muster docs, you can find a great, great glossary of all elements in, in the explain output, right? The greatest talk is from George Berkus. Don't miss this talk, it's really, really great. Okay, Michael Christofi is the, the PG Muster creator. Okay, he recommends those five nice steps to improve, to improve queries with explain. And finally, explaining the PostgreSQL way optimizer by Bruce Mumpian. It's a great talk to understand why PostgreSQL decided to plant. It's really, really good. Hi, Bruce. Uh, <laughs> and do you have questions? I, I hope not because I will lie in my answers, but uh, you, do you have questions? <laughs> no? Hi. Hi. I always like your t-shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, explain for us what is the best you look, what is the ugly to look in an explain. I think everyone here is like, uh, I'm, uh, I like to see uh, index scans only, but I need to avoid a, a short scan or a, 
or a table is clean, for example. What's the best to see? What's the, the ugly to see in explain? Uh, the, the best is it's not the best. No, 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 not exist the best way. It's different ever. Um, each query have a, a, a problem. And in this case, if you run sequential scan, if you, if you need in the table with uh, one million rows, yes. okay, one million rows, all rows, it's a sequential scan. Yes. If, if you run an index scan, uh, the index uh, go one run, the, the, the scans over one million of the index and over one million of the, the table relation. It's not, not, not the, it, it's really, uh, it's slow to, Sequential scan run over over table, it's, but if over ten of one thousand millions of data, you need one row index because the index is more fast to to find this 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 row, right? It's not we, ever uh, each query had a problem. Each query have a problem if you need analyze the query because of that it's important. Don't don't die and try to understand and explain because it's 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 it's, it's complex. Explain, uh, read, the explain. Okay. Thank you. So, another questions? I don't know. Okay. 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 Uh, muito obrigado. It's eh, muchísimas gracias in español. Thank you so much in English. My name is Alfredo Rodriguez. Many people call me Draco. Thank you, Brazil. And I hope uh, see you in the next year. Thank you. Thank you so much.